Welcome to the final week of the Fox 6 High School Blitz. The long season all comes down to this, where at Camp Randall Stadium is four of our local teams hope to leave Madison as state champs. We'll start in Division 5 as Mayville made a return trip to state. The Cardinals were seeking their first D5 title, but in their way was Aquinas. Mayville strikes first. Blake Schroffnagel finds the end zone from 10 yards out, and the Cardinals take the 7-0 lead. After Aquinas comes back to score 14 unanswered points, the Cardinals respond in the fourth quarter. Damian Hoggle finds a hole, and he'll run in the 12-yard touchdown to tie the game at 14. But late in the fourth, the Blue Golds retake the lead as Colin Konzimius weaves his way into the end zone. That's a 27-yard touchdown run as Aquinas retakes the lead 22-14. Now with two minutes left in the game, the Cardinals try and get something going, but Addison Middlestat is picked off by Jackson Flotmeyer, and that will do it. Mayville earns runner-up honors in Division 5. Final score, 22-14. Once is hard enough, but to be able to regroup and make it back again. You know, for a second time, um, I'm very proud of these guys. Their work ethic, their attitude, their effort, it's second to none. So, I mean, I'll take that any day of the week. I wake up every day with a lot of gratitude. Two-time defending champion Catholic Memorial faced Columbus in Division 4, and Bill Young's Crusaders were on the hunt for another gold ball. The Cardinals go up 7-0 in the second quarter, but the Crusaders offer a counterpunch thanks to Corey Smith, who finds a hole, and he is gone. He'll race 61 yards into the end zone as Catholic Memorial ties the game at 7. The Crusaders were not done. Minutes later, it's Smith again, this time with a 17-yard touchdown run as Catholic Memorial goes up 14-7. Columbus battles back in the snow. Colton Brunel finds Pater with this eight-yard score. The Cardinals retake the lead 20-14. In a back-and-forth game, the Crusaders are in control into the fourth quarter off a long touchdown pass, but the Cardinals put themselves in a position to win this game. Corbin Hines lines up for the 31-yard go-ahead field goal and it's good. Columbus knocks off Catholic Memorial 23-21 as the Crusaders take home the silver ball. We've won nine state titles, so nine out of 45. Everything's great. You know, this is all part of the process of life, and um, yeah, they'll, they'll come back and, you know, down the line, they'll, they'll be real reflective and, and uh, excited. You know, disappointed we didn't finish off, but to, to, to make it back to state again, you know, it says a lot about our kids and our program. The snow flurries continue for Kettle Moraine. Lasers back at state for the second time and seeking their first Division II title since 1988. Kettle Moraine took it to West to Pier on their opening drive. Chase Spellman delivers on the quarterback sneak as the Lasers zip out to a 7-0 start. After West to Pier scores 10 unanswered points, Nolan Shop gets things going for the Lasers. He'll make a great one-handed catch. That's a pickup of 25 yards. And Shop caps off that drive with a score 14 10 Kettle Moraine. The Lasers defense has been stout the last 10 games, and they're going to force a fumble here and recover it. Locashin, one play later, Dylan Ports takes the handoff and goes down the sidelines. No one can catch him. That's a 68 yard touchdown run, 21 10 Kettle Moraine. The Lasers held West appear to its lowest point total all season long. And for the first time in 34 years, Kettle Moraine captures its second state title in program history, winning 27 to 10. Yeah, it's crazy. I don't know that it's like hit yet, um, but it's definitely exciting. Yeah, it's 34 years, I think, which is a year older than me, so it's crazy. Yeah, I mean, it's been a long season. Um, the team faced a lot of adversity, um, and it's only made us stronger. And um, you know, it's prepared us for this moment, and uh, we did it. One division remains. McGuanago back in the Division I state title for the second time as they take on the perennial power Kimberly. It was a back and forth game. The blue and gold find success on their opening drive. Evan Herbig with a quarterback keeper, and he'll punch it in for the five yard score. Seven nothing McGuanago, but they will lose their star running back when staying on that opening drive. Kimberly responds, and McGuanago answers right back in the second quarter as Herbig plunges into the end zone for another score as they go up 14 to 7 at the half. The papermakers make quick work on offense again to tie it at 14. So in the third quarter, Mason Radabicki takes the handoff, breaks a couple tackles. He's in for the 10 yard touchdown. And after a blocked extra point, it's 20 to 14 McGuanago. But back comes Kimberly Blake Berry. Too much for this team. He scores two quick touchdowns. This one gives the papermakers a 27 23 lead after a failed two point conversion. The Bloom Gold showing their championship medal here. The offense drives down the field. It's Herbig again with the touchdown for McGuanago. 30 23 Indians. 
but Barry comes back for Kimberly, scoring this go-ahead touchdown, 34-30 Kimberly. So last chance here for McGuanago. Herbig looking downfield, but he is picked off by Thomas Myers, and that will do it. McGuanago earns runners up finish in D1, final score 34-30. to Couldn't be prouder of the way that our kids battled that verse tonight with with wind going out in the first series, you know, we, the, the, the kids tried to rally around them and, and we battled all night. Uh, you know, we just ran out of time, unfortunately. But, hey, you know, what a tribute to these seniors, everything that they've done uh, and, and, and the climb that, that we made. Congratulations to our four area teams that made it to state as they wrap up their seasons. And here a trophy was hoisted, memories were made, and this will officially wrap up our coverage of the high school football season. Thank you so much for tuning in all year long to the Fox 6 High School Blitz. So reporting one last time from Camp Randall Stadium, Lily Zow, Fox 6 Sports. We'll see you next year.